What is up, my good people? In the name is Pixel Love, and we're back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, I went in the freaking desert, and we are now all of a sudden in the city of Foreside. This looks like the big city, the Big Apple. It just looks like New York, but in Earthbound. Man, this guy does not want to give it a rest. Five seconds in, and I already find the hit person. Seventy-five dollars? Hell no! Why would I need a hint? Really, why would I need a hint? Well then at least it's actually convenient I guess that I found out where he is. Anyways, I don't know what we're gonna do this episode. I just kinda wanna look around in the city of Foresight, see if there's something that catches my attention. I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monotoil. I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, like, the regular, like, J Station sells his heart to the soul to the devil or some shit like that. That kind of thing. No, I, I get you, I get you. I am actually curious about what the department store has. Maybe they got some good equipment for me. I wonder why the department store is closed. Are you kidding me? When Montoya became the owner, this department store began having strange happenings. Really? You can actually hear like a little jingle. It's so though, that's bullshit! I wanted to go to the department store. I wanted to buy some shit. No, oh, come on! You're kidding! You're absolutely joking me. It was good, Sarge. Protect Mr. Monotoil first. The safety of the citizens of the city comes second. What the fuck? Alright, something tells me that this Mr. Monotoil guy has done something with the police. Because... I get that police can do a pretty shit job, but they shouldn't acknowledge that they're shitty. They shouldn't acknowledge that they're protecting somebody else over the citizens first. In the old days, Mr. Monotoy was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Foresight is better than before. Eww, something tells me that this Mr. Monotoy guy is done more than is controlling more than the police force. Oh, would you look at that? We have more annoying old men over here. The annoying revealer. Wait, no, annoying reveler. Whatever that means. Jeff, why don't you find out what this man's up to? 58, 77. Uh, it doesn't really look like he has. Doesn't look like he has very good, uh. Good stats, good defenses, whatnot. That's what I'm trying to say. Is there any guests laying around here in the city of Foresight that I could just so happen to take care of? Well, I can take care of this old man first. What the fuck? What do you mean I lost all motivation in this battle? Hello? Oh, come on, Ness. Really? You're homesick again? I mean, I, I get that it's a real thing, but my G, we... We dealt with this last episode. Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this is my place. Maybe it's your place. A uh, your sanctuary? Dun dun dun. The boys stuck to the wall. Maybe a peeping tom. Eee. Come on in. We got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Oh, would you look at that? I don't even know what some of these do. I'll take the broken gadget though. You never know what kind of you never know what kind of things you, you need with Jeff and whatnot. What the fuck? <laughs> of crazy taxi. It's mad taxi, but Hey yo, gee, what the hell? Somebody please tell me why um, a taxi is going right after me. And how did it not, like, just straight up 
kill me like roadkill. What the hell? Yeah, that's what I like to see. Just destroy the mad tech. Oh, why is there another one coming towards me? What the hell? I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that, G. Like, <laughs> to me, it looks like you're just on the streets begging for money, not really being punctual. Is how I would put it. No one know anything, girl. Monotos Toad, he stole everything from me, including my house and land. They're evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoil, they're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. I'm okay, just leave me to cry into my cappuccino. Nosy. Hey man, but the better question is why a cappuccino? Why not a latte? A latte is much better than a cappuccino in my opinion. What do we have here in this nice looking cafe? It seems like it's just for Decker. Alright, cool. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five, mi five minus one is four, so four is left. That's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra. What is made to order? Oh, puns aren't funny either. Pokey's back? Are you telling me I have to fight that little sausage again? I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked, knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. The next thing I know, I knew someone asked who is it. <laughs> it really surprised me. Maybe I just imagine it? Uh, you probably knocked on like the wall that's like right next to someone's stall or something. I used to be Monotoyo's employer, then I realized the schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away, now I'm homeless. Monotoil didn't used to be so powerful, I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here watching to see if he ever drops in. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso, you shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Monotoil's here? You got that wrong, kid. Yeah. What? Doesn't Mr. Geldegard Monotoil come here often? Hello, time to get up. Could never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. Jesus Christ, what has Monotoil done in this entire city? Everyone has either seemed to either benefit or get fucked by him. Like, there's no in between whatsoever. I don't get it. I heard that a guy who looks like Monotoil has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, that totally unpopular place. I heard he quietly goes in and out. The place I was just at, Monotu was there? Oh lord. Now I have no clue who he, who he could actually be. Speaking of the Tapala Theater, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runaway 5. Hey yo, no, 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 no. No one can be better than a Runaway 5. Hell no. Those are my guys. Those are my guys. What happened, to the, what happened to those guys digging for the buried gold? If they found gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. I am wondering about that as well. Where are those guys? Where's my money? The dinosaur museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to go see the dinosaurs, pay $5 a piece for the entrance fee. Dog, come on! Please enter, you'll find an academic research inside. It's better be good. You know, I actually have a friend who doesn't believe in dinosaurs. Like, I don't know why he thinks that, but he just does. Doesn't believe that dinosaurs existed. Jeez, thanks a lot, Thunder. 
If you hear a lot of thunder uh, during this recording, my bad, but it really sounds like it's about to rain down. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, sorry about that, Gramps, but you'll probably die sooner. Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. <laughs> thought she was talking about the Moby Huge for a minute. Come on, dude! You know, I wish Monotoil was here right now so I can at least, I don't know, square up with him instead of having to deal with your bitch ass. Get out. I'm tired. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Hmm. Dinosaurs, dinosaur bones believed to be from Southern Scarabaugh. Don't ask for any details. Our research is continuing. Gee, cool. I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I heard that dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scarabba, and there were lots of them. There are unrequited confirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Uh, sure thing, Mr. Spoon. Hey, you know what? Maybe that dickhead, that, photograph that photographer genius, whatever, he, whatever kind of shit he spews out, maybe he can help get some photographs for the uh, dinosaurs for this dinosaur guy over here. Maybe he could be able to take some pictures from Scaraba, wherever the hell that is. And then show them to this man over here. But man, I love wasting $15 on nothing. Let's go here. To the Topala Theater. You wanna buy a ticket? Sure. Uh, who has a ticket? No? It's Apollo? Yep, that's the show ticket. Show will be starting at any moment. What's in here? So you're a Runaway Fire fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police will probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you have, you'd have to find buried gold, or you'd never be able to find such a huge... Oh, okay. So you're telling me that by the time that the Runaway Five got here from Tucson to Forsyth, not only had A, they've gotten into another contract with another dead-end theater, B, gotten into such a big debt that they owe someone else. And C, are probably going to take my buried gold that I sold to, that I, not sold, but the buried gold from the guy in the desert. I don't know. I, I have a feeling he might give me the gold because I gave him like some like food or shit. But you're telling me all of that happened in a matter of, what, minutes, hours? And now I have all these people telling me to be quiet? Man, shut the fuck up. When this arrives, the Runaway 5 told me to let him in, so please come in. Oh, cool. But first, I want to check out this theater. Alright, I'm done checking out this theater. Let's go in. Hey, buddies! Mamma mia! We're here with the reunion! We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yep, yep, yep. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Cool! I didn't ask for your opinion, Thunder! We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. <laughs> okay. To make Gelga Geldegard monotail, you'll need our help. 
I don't know exactly. I don't exactly know why. It's just a hunch. We owe you guys so much. <laughs> Sorry. Again, so these guys, they, they are kind of hopeless. However, if what they are saying is true, then maybe they will be able to help me to find Mana Toil or whatever kind of bullshit he has. We ha we got a bomb show for you tonight, kids. Ah, kaboom! The run of wave five, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Good morning! This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Monotoil. Hey you, if you meet a beautiful seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Anyways, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. Oh my gee, you giving me some massive incel vibes here right now. You need to get out of this hotel room and maybe touch some grass. Anyways, I just wanted to stay in this hotel really quickly so that I'll be full up on my HP and my psychic powers. Because I have a bad feeling about this monotoil person. Everyone in this town either seems to like him or hate him. No in between. If I remember correctly, his place should be right over by the department store. This seems like his headquarters. Monotoil HQ. Alright, Bob, the jig is up. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Isn't that like the card game? Like, how the fuck do you lose your... Lose your shirt when playing solitaire. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoil's office. Okay, don't care. What brings you to the Monotoil building? Eh, you know, I'm just here to, you know, uh, kick some ass by the name of Geldegard Monotoil, something like that. Whatever. All right, Monotoil, the jig is up. This elevator is for only Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. I didn't understand somewhere up. Uh, what is this fuck Pokey done now? The 47th floor, all right. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot with, at you with a machine gun. Jesus Christ, people. Whoops, I was almost gonna beat you up. Uh, let's just go with this one. Let's just go with the next one. You haven't changed much, Ness. 
I'm Al Alloy Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its days. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Okay. It just seems like an old fart. Ah, I dread this. Pokey, you fuck. What have you been doing? You won't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. Ooh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Uh, what's your name? Pig's butt. And a mess. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey, get it? I'm now Gildegard Monitor's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. I heard that there are some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoil. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! Oh. This isn't. This isn't very friendly, is it? You must never show your face around Master Pokey, you got that? Fuck that, I'm going back in! The fuck you saying to me, you little bitch? Excuse me? Yeah, 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 I don't give a shit about what you say. Oh, fuck. Square up, loser! Don't you dare kick me out of here! Fucking hell. Ugh. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Fuck. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little stumped here in Foresight, but if there's something that I know that I can do, if there's something that I know I can do, is I can just farm for some more levels. So, I am going back to the desert. Doubt I'll find anything interesting there. Maybe I'll talk to the guy in the gold mine again, but... Really got nothing interesting to tell you guys. I got kicked. I got kicked out of basically the building. Got kicked out of the building. Need to help the runway five somehow, cause they're probably gonna do some bullshit. They're gonna help me some way or shape or form. Whatever. It's just. Yeah, it's it's one of those things, isn't it? Yes, I will gladly take off here. Now I have to listen to this god awful white noise again. I, 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 actually, you know what? What the fuck is this guy doing, anyways? Interesting. It's a mushroom down here. Oh, you fuck. Are you not gonna give me any answers? Of course you weren't. Why would you give me answers? Holy shit! This man actually did build a whole fucking gold mine! Jesus Christ! I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. If they have a live broadcast from the dig. I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. I think you should dig somewhere else. Though you may not believe it, I am an- oh, fucking old man. <laughs> what are you doing here? Get out of here. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig. I can't help it. Ooh. Not today. Not today, bucko. God damn, I didn't expect him to like build an actual fucking gold mine. That's crazy. Well, what do my boys gotta say over here? Oh, none. Nothing out of the ordinary. 
Oh, where is the other guy? The one who I fed, the one who I gave him my food. Where is he? Is he in the mine? What the fuck is this? I heard that the black sesame I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Really? You've seen him already? Is he okay? Hmm, I see. Wait a minute, the black sesame, isn't he the guy all the way in like the top, top left? Yeah, top left. It was one of the first things that I saw. I just saw like a black pixel and I was like, what is this thing? And he's like, oh, I'm just a black sesame seed. But there's his lover somewhere around here. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. Fuck. Wait a minute. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. All right now, where's my black sesame friend? It's gotta be here somewhere. Find him eventually. There he is. Fuck. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I heard before. I could just see her. What? The white sesame still loves me? Yeah, damn right, bro. That's what she said. Do I have to go back to the white sesame again? Well, I hope... Uh, hope I can get there without any trouble. Without any trouble, without any trouble. It's gotta be somewhere around here. There she is. Was he okay? Hmm, I see. God damn it, do I have to keep going back and forth with these two? Well, there's not really much I can do with the sesame guys. So god damn it, that's... Because I, I told both of them that they still like each other. So, and nothing's happened, so... Oh well, I guess... They, they do be them. I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the dusty dunes desert. They're a memento for my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring me, to, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. I'm Pentella Giovanni. Find me at the Foresight Bakery, second floor. Um... I got the contact lens. How easy was that? Let's drop him. Oh. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna assume that I'm going to have to be going to the gold mine next episode, so I'll just leave it at that. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love. And how do we already have Sunstroke again? What the fuck? Memento Mori, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.